How to fix PlayStation 5 controller stick drift. Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Even though the PlayStation 5 has only been released for a few months now, I'm already hearing of people having issues with controller stick drift. Although it's only been a short few months that we've been able to experience the PlayStation 5, there can be some reasons as to why controller stick drift is becoming an issue for some people. So in today's episode, I wanna share with you some tips to help fix controller stick drift, and I also wanna share with you some best practices to help keep your PS5 DualSense controller clean and running like new through time. As always, if you enjoy this video or find any part of it helpful, please let me know by dropping a like down below. And if you're new to this channel, this is the spot where you'll find the latest tips, tricks, and strategies to help you get the most out of your PlayStation gaming experience. So if you haven't yet, feel free to subscribe down below to watch more videos just like these. Let's get right into it. If you're playing a game that requires you to hold a joystick in a certain position and click it in that direction for most of the duration of the game session, such as Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, Black Ops, or Warzone, you may notice that the vast amount of time you're holding the left joystick in the up position and clicking in that direction, the same can be true of the right joystick as well. If that is the case, all it might require for you to fix the stick drift issue is to just recenter the mechanism of the joystick underneath. And the way to help recenter the joysticks is to generously rotate each of the joysticks around slowly to its full position around the circle. And then you wanna make sure that you click on each joystick on the top, on the left side and right side, on the bottoms, and on the left and right sides. And if you feel that something's a little off, you can even take your other hand and apply pressure within the ball of the joystick to help apply a little more pressure. Although you don't wanna to push too hard and actually dislodge any mechanisms underneath the joystick. Once you do that to both of the joysticks, you then wanna let go. And then what you wanna do is you wanna click and hold in right in the center. Now the mechanism itself could be fine, even though you applied pressure in one direction throughout an entire game. However, if you leave your controller sitting in a dusty or dirty environment, or if you spilled on it, you may need to dislodge or get rid of the dust underneath the joystick because there is an opening, as you can see, if you rotate the controller along the sides. So what I would recommend is to get any household air canister that's designed for cleaning dust off electronic devices, rotate the joystick, and then as you see the, the gap between the ball of the joystick and the bumper, gently apply dusting pressure from the air canister inside the gap and then rotate some more, get on the other side of the gap, keep going around the circle until you complete it, and then click and hold the center of the joystick when you're done. Dust can definitely be one of the biggest culprits that can compromise the performance of your joysticks. So make sure that you keep an air canister handy and rotate and routinely dust within the gaps of the joystick and the bumper. And that should be enough to ensure that the gaps are clean of any dust. If you accidentally spilled something that might have made its way into the joystick, what I would recommend also is to apply a little bit of isopropyl alcohol to help clean around not just the stick itself, but also around the ball to help clean and dislodge any of that that might have spilled on the controller. So if you rotated the joysticks, clicked in different positions, dusted them and cleaned them, and you find that you're still experiencing controller stick drift, another thing you can do is turn the controller around and you'll find the factory reset button next to the Sony logo. Give that a push using a paper clip, hold it for a little bit and wait until the lights turn off on the controller, turn it on and reconnect it to your PlayStation using a USB cable. What that does is it factory resets the controller so that in case there was any weird software glitch that was causing that stick drift, it should go back to the way it was before that glitch was installed on the software of the controller. So be sure to give that a try if the previous steps didn't work yet. Another couple things you can check on is turning off and resetting the communication between the DualSense controller and the console itself. And you can do that by going up to the gear icon, which is the settings menu of the PS5. And then you wanna go down to where it says accessories. And then you wanna go into Bluetooth accessories. So in the Bluetooth accessories menu, what you can do is you can select your controller and then disconnect it and then reconnect it again. So if there was any potential issue with the Bluetooth connection between the controller and the console, that'll reset that connection and then repair it again. Another thing you can do is turn off the Bluetooth of the PS5 off and back on again. And you do that by going into the turn off Bluetooth menu and then going into the continue option 
But if you choose this option, make sure you have a USB cable handy so that you can reconnect the controller to the PS5 console to reestablish that Bluetooth connection again. Now, when you first got your PlayStation 5 out of the box, one of the updates that came with it was a firmware update for the PS5 DualSense controller. But if for some reason that update didn't show up for the controller, or you might have missed it, another thing you can do is go up to the system menu, and this is where you can find your software information, and also if there's any pending system software updates, including the firmware update for your controller. And so what you do is you go up to the system software menu, and then over to system software updates and settings. And then this first readout up here will tell you if your software is up to date or not. If not, make sure that the system software for the PS5 is up to date and the firmware for the PS5 DualSense controller is also up to date. Now, if you've tried all of these steps that I've mentioned and you find that you're still getting controller stick drift, what you can do is open a warranty claim with your either your retailer or Sony support itself. Another thing too is if you always find yourself out of luck and you just find that you're always having stick drift on Sony PlayStation controllers, although they're not out yet, for the PlayStation 4 there were third-party controllers that were pretty nice from brands such as Scuf and Razer. So I predict that there's going to be third-party controller options for the PlayStation 5 coming up as well. So be on the lookout for those controllers in case you wanted to replace your first party one. Did you know that you can adjust the adaptive triggers and the haptic feedback features of the new PS5 DualSense controller? I just recently published a YouTube video, I'll leave it up here and down in the description below, showing you the way to get through the settings and adjust those for your PS5 controller. As always, if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please be sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe so that you can always stay up to date on my latest helpful PlayStation videos just like these. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.